Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. Before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Wahabakodash, Yahweh, which is the only true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world angrily calls Jesus Christ, but his only true name is Yahweh Shai. I would like to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone because those are the men who I've learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Shai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the whole full elect. And shalom to you, sincere brother scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Arazaka from the servants of Yahweh Wai Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And uh, pretty much I watched uh, Elder Apostle Gabar's uh, lesson earlier when I was on the plantation. You know, always, you know, I'm not able to be on my phone, but I always, you know, tune in, you know, to the to the lessons of the elders, you know. And there's an individual he his ass is going off. All right. He's 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 going off. All right. He has a problem um about the covenant, the new covenant, old covenant. All right. And this is what he said on Elder Apostle, Elder Apostle Gabar's comment board. And you Jakes that's coming with a totally different doctrine, your ass needs to shut the hell up and stay off the comment boards, man. All right? This dude name is New Covenant 777. This is what his this is what this bugged out. He is fucking bugged out. All right? And this is what he so this is what he said on to Elder Apostle Gabar. He said the old covenant, he said the old covenant ain't done away. Just the old he said the old testament so like yeah, the old testament ain't done away. Just the old covenant. Gabar, we are in the new covenant. People read, we are not in the new covenant. Yo ass is going off. I repeat, we are not in the new covenant. Yo ass is going off. All right. Yo ass is going completely off, man. All right. And this is what Elder Apostle Gabar said. He said, yes, the old covenant of animal sacrifices is done away in in the Lord Yahweh Shai, which is totally correct. All right. It's a supreme sacrifice of himself on the cross. And Elder Apostle Gabar, he, he quoted the scriptures. All right. Edifying, you know, edifying. He quoted the scriptures. But this is the main point that Elder Apostle Gabar said, which is true. He said, if you are in the new covenant, as you say you are, he says, if you are in the new covenant, as you say, are you immortal? Right. Because the new covenant is going to be established in the kingdom of heaven. And the elect, they're going to be established under the new covenant. And in the new covenant, we're going to be able to keep the laws. Lord willing, we the elect. We're going to be able to keep the laws perfectly. Ain't going to be no teaching Israelites, you're an Israelite, brother. And ain't going to be no reading the back of ingredients. Ain't going to be no none of that to be careful what food we eat. We read in the back of ingredients. We ain't going to be doing none of that. Ain't going to be no teaching people to keep the laws. It's going to be written in us. All right? Elder Apostle Gabar is telling the truth. All right? This dude is bugged out. And look, he's going to come back to Elder Apostle Gabar's comment board. He's going to tell Elder Apostle Gabar this. He says, stop trying to trick people because in the Old Testament, even Moses said, uh, Hamashiach, and you spelled his name, you spelled the name of the Lord wrong. He says, even Moses said, Hamashiach would rise and he shall, and he shall, it says, and he shall we here to e initiate the new covenant. What are you talking about? You're going off. This dude is going off. And then he says, this is the apostle, how the apostle Gabar responded, and he said, "Then you must be immortal, then, since you're in a new covenant, right? You basically say you immortal, and that's why I I hopped on because he, he he doing too fucking much. This dude is doing too fucking much. So I said to him, and I'm doing a lesson on him, and I said to him, I said, my question is to you: If we're in a new covenant, why are we still in captivity to these seventeen heathen nations? And he still ain't answer my question." If we're, if we're in a new covenant already, why are we still in captivity to these 17 heathen nations? All right? Why are we reading the back of ingredients of food to make sure that we're not going off, that we're not breaking the laws? Now, we can't keep our laws perfectly. We're rehearsing the laws, the statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability, but we can't even keep the laws perfectly. In a new covenant, the Lord said that the laws are going to be written in us, man. All right? And then this, I asked him this. I asked him another question. I said, wouldn't we be delivered and under the rulership of Yahweh Shai? Right. Because when Yahweh Shai come back, the kingdom of heaven is going to be established. We're going to be under the rulership of Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Bashim Shai, man. All right? The new covenant is going to be established in the kingdom. 
Yeah, we ain't even seen it. If we was in the new covenant, where's your house shot? We ain't even seen your house shot yet. All right? We got to be fucking transformed before we can even get to the kingdom. We got to be changed, man. As scriptures say in 1 Corinthians 15, 51 to 52, this dude is going off. All right? His ass is going off. Your ass is going off, man. You are fucking going off. All right? And I looked, I went to investigate this individual because I'm like, he's over here trying to teach the elder something. Well, your fucking bitch ass ain't doing shit. He got lessons up, but he got bugged out ass fucking lessons. His lessons is fucking bugged out. His fucking lessons is fucking bugged out, man. Look, look at this shit. Wait, for all these images being passed around in the Hebrew community and amongst these various different camps and these different sections of Israel, so he's a no camp doctrine Israelite. He's a no camp doctrine Israelite. And since your ass is a no camp doctrine Israelite, where'd you get the name Yahushai from? Because when you go to his fucking bio, this is what he has on his fucking bio. You a goddamn no camp doctrine ass Israelite, and your ass is gonna be destroyed, man. This is what he said. This is his fucking description. This is his fucking bio. He says this channel is strictly to inspire and inform the elect of Yahushai. Where'd you get? How'd you know? Since you don't follow camps. You don't follow camps. He said these camps. Because he's clearly already letting us know he's a no-camp doctrine Israelite. So since you don't follow camps, where the hell did you get Yahweh Bashim Shai from? Where did you get the name of the Lord from? Where did you get the name of the Lord from? All right? You're, you're, you're a damn scoffer, and you're going to be destroyed, man. You, you Jake, y'all y'all don't, don't know. Y'all don't know. You're going to be fucking tormented. Lord going to fuck your ass up if you don't repent. If you don't repent and get your ass in order, you're going to be destroyed. So he's he's doing this. This is the shit that he's doing. He's doing completely madness. I'm not going to, you know, get fully into this, you know. But he has Elder Manatza Zagba. He has Elder, Elder Apostle Gabar. He has Elder Yashawamba. And he he's basically has a problem. With, he basically has a problem with these individuals. All right? You have a problem with the with the men of the Lord. But why? where did you get the name of the Lord from? Where did you get? How did you know the Lord's name? Was Yahweh Shai. How'd you know that? How did you fucking know that shit? Alright? How did you know that shit? Okay, I got another All right? video. How did you fucking know that shit, man? And that's the thing I want to ask him. How the fuck you know that shit, man? Alright? You Jakes is fucking bugged out. This is, this, is, this is Hebrews 8 and 7. It says, For if that first covenant had been faultless, and we know what the first covenant was, the old covenant, we broke the old covenant. We didn't keep the law, statutes, and commandments. It says, "Then should no place have been sought for the second. It says, "For finding, it says, for finding fault with them, it says, "He said, "Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel, which is the northern kingdom, and with the house of Judah, which is the southern kingdom." All right. So this is the new covenant. The new covenant is going to be established in the kingdom of heaven. Verse nine. It says, "Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers." All right. It says in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt because they continue not in my covenant. Right. Our forefathers broke the old covenant. And when you go into um, you can either go into the book of Judges. You can even go into Second Kings, the 17th chapter. We did wicked in the eyes of the, of, of the Lord. We we forsaken our power. We followed the ways of Eden. We broke the old covenant. All right. It says, and I regarded them not, save the Lord. Verse 10. For this is the covenant that I will make with their make with the house with the house of Israel after those days, saith the Lord, and I will put my laws into their mind and write them in the inward parts. And this is talking about the elect of the nation of Israel. And this precept, this is talking about the elect of the nation of Israel being changed. The laws are going to be written in us. We can't keep the laws perfect in these fucking mortal bodies, man. We're in captivity. We can't even keep the laws perfectly. We're in captivity. We're in the chambers of darkness. We're in these corrupt bodies. We got to be changed. To be able to receive a new, to, to be able to receive, to be able to be in a new covenant, we gotta be fucking changed. What the fuck are you talking about, man? See, he's fucking bugged out. He's gonna be destroyed. Your ass is fucking bugged out, and you're gonna be destroyed if you don't repent. All right? You need to learn to keep silent and learn. Be humble. Start taking notes. Yo, you, you jakes are always trying to, trying to call somebody, trying to teach somebody something. Elder Apostle Gabar been in the truth longer than your fucking dumb ass have, man. Your fucking ass was probably sucking on a pacifier when El Apostle uh, Gabar came into this truth, man. When he came into the truth, I was fucking elementary school, playing Super Nintendo, and fucking looking at goddamn Rugrats and looking at Nickelodeon and Cartoon Network with El Apostle Gabar, Tahar, and them was, was in the truth. 
And actually, when Elder Apostle Tahar came, it's the truth. I wasn't even fucking born yet. What's wrong with you, Jakes? Why can't you fucking just shut your ass up and learn? Why are you trying to teach somebody else something? And he's been in truth way before your ass, man. Way before you niggas, man. You niggas are going to be fucking destroyed. It says, and I will be to them a power and they should be to me a people. This prophecy hasn't happened yet. This prophecy has not happened yet. So how the fuck are we in a new covenant yet? We're still in captivity. And if we got to understand the elect of the nation of Israel scattered throughout the four quarters of the earth. We're in captivity to the 17 heathen nations. If we was in a new covenant, and that's why I asked him. He's still answering my question. If we're in a new covenant, why are we still in captivity to these 17 heathen nations? Wouldn't we be delivered? We'll be delivered already. We will be in the kingdom of heaven. We're not in the kingdom yet. We're still in captivity. We're still in captivity. Verse 11, it says, and they shall not turn and they shall not teach every man his neighbor. Who ain't if we're in a new covenant, we wouldn't be teaching Israelites who they are, and we wouldn't be teaching, teaching people to keep the laws and letting them know who they are. We wouldn't be on the highways and byways. We wouldn't be doing three videos every day. We wouldn't be setting up camp once a week. We wouldn't be doing any of this. And we was already we were in a new covenant already. Your ass is going off. It says that every and every, and every man his brother. Right. We teaching people. Letting them know that they Israelites. We fishing for the lake. We out here teaching people to keep teaching people, teaching our people to keep the laws to the best of our ability. You know, we're teaching teaching our people who they are. Ain't gonna be no teaching people to keep the laws and teaching people who they are in, in, in the new covenant. It's gonna be written in us. Didn't the Lord just say that? It's gonna be written in us. He just said that in the tenth chapter. The laws are gonna be written in us. Niggas going off. You going you going off, man. You fucking going off. It says, and every, every man his brother saying, know the Lord, for all shall know me from the least to the greatest. And this prophecy hasn't even happened yet. Verse 12, for I will be merciful to their unrighteousness and their sins and their iniquities what I remember no more. Right. Because the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah, he's going to already, he's already going to deliver the elect of the nation of Israel. All right. The elect of the nation of Israel are going to be saved. All right. And we're going to be, Lord willing, we the elect, we're going to be established in the new covenant. All right. Verse 13, it says, in, it says, in that he saith a new covenant, he hath made the first old. It says, now that which decayeth and waxeth old is ready to vanish away. So this individual is fucking going off, man. Your ass is going off. All your ass got to do is read Hebrews, the eighth chapter. All right. He's fucking going off. He's fucking bugged out. If you, if you don't repent, man, and, and keep your ass learning in silence and get your ass in order to repent, your ass is going to be destroyed. Your ass is going to be destroyed, man. It's getting ridiculous. So Lord wants us to edifying. Till next time I say shalom.